Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On my continuing open shot tutorial series, today I'm going to be talking about doing green screen effects by using the chroma key effect built into open shot. Now, I just want to thank one of my viewers for suggesting this. And it's something that I think a lot of people enjoy doing, but it might seem really complex if you've never done it before. So if you have not seen my open shot tutorial series, be sure to check that out. I have an entire playlist on that. I'll leave that in the description area below. Now, the whole idea of having a green screen effect is basically having a video or image and then having a different background, okay? And typically how it works in general is it removes whatever background that you have. And so the reason why they call it green screen is usually the colors green or something like blue work a lot better in removing it. But since I did not have a green screen or blue screen, I have to use a wall and so things might not be perfect, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the video, how it looks before I do any of the green screen, and then I'm gonna show you how it looks afterwards. And so um, here is basically the video. It's just me talking right there, okay? So nothing really special there, but what I wanna do is I actually wanna get this background right here, okay? And so that's what I really want. I want that to be uh, behind myself, okay? And so there is an effect, as I mentioned, it's built in, here's chroma key. And so all you would do is you would just drop this effect here, okay? So one thing you wanna make sure is you're at the beginning because this is these are all different keyframes. And so if you do it here, it won't do it back here, okay? So you go back there, drop your chroma key effect in here, okay? Now once you do that, you could double click on it and make sure that you right click on your mouse and make sure that the properties are there, okay? And so if the properties are there, you won't see all this other stuff, okay? So uh, make sure the properties are set. Let's go back here. So the main thing that you wanna do is pick the color that you actually wanna do the chroma key on. And also there's a thing called a fuzz effect and you see what I mean there. And so the easiest way is to just choose the color that's already on the video because then it'll be an exact match. So here you just double click on this color wheel right here and then use this right here. This is the eyedropper. Choose this, and now it's the same color, okay, or as close as possible, because this white wall is not exactly white, so there's different, I guess, lighting here, so there's shadows here, and you'll see why that's important. Okay, so now you already start seeing that it's already starting to degrade some of that or remove some of that, okay? What you could do is you could increase it, to see how much that changes, okay? So this is a lot of more trial and error. And once again, if I actually had a true green screen with no other you know, uh, colors or shadows and um, it also had a better lighting, then this would work a lot better, okay? So you could also type in the number because at a certain point you can't scroll it forward anymore. So I'm just gonna do 50 and that looks good enough, okay? But let me show you something else, okay? So as you go further, it's not exactly perfect. See, my fingers are missing, but I just wanted to show you the. So, see, it's not exactly uh, perfect right there. But, as you can see, the background shows up. Okay, so with that first chroma key, things look pretty good. It looks almost Hollywood perfect. But, it's not quite there yet because there are portions of it where you might still see remnants of the background, okay? So, in this case, what you can do is you can add multiple chroma keys to try and get rid of most of this as much as possible. So let's go ahead and do that by adding another chroma key. So you do the same thing as we did earlier. Double click, choose the color picker, and then go back to the fuzz values and adjust it and get as close as possible to removing it. Now, as I did mention earlier, if you actually had a green screen or a blue screen, this would work so much easier and also better lighting as well. And so as you see there, now, you know, you won't see much of the background afterwards, okay? So see, so it was there before, so it's not as noticeable now. So let's go ahead and look at the finished project. Okay, so here is the completed project. Let's go ahead and check this out. And I'll, so check that out. <laughs> uh, that's one way that you could take a vacation <laughs> without spending a lot of money. And, uh, you know, I think for a, really quick and easy chroma key using just uh, the uh, regular standard white wall. I think this came out pretty good. And so the chroma key is a really powerful effect in open shot to where you could get, I guess, some uh, semi Hollywood production value 
uh, for next to nothing. And so if you had any thoughts on doing chroma key within OpenShot or any other video editor that you enjoy, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did enjoy these videos, you got value out of them, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.